Vision Academy. You see, we highlight all of our scholars. We'd rather our scholars' pictures be up so that they can see themselves in excellence. Uh -huh. So over here, we have unity of strength. And if you can see right there, they're actually, they're just sticks and they're taped up. Uh -huh. Now, I'll tell you the story why we make this the first thing when you walk into our building. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mbote. So right here is the story. And we have a picture that goes along with each story. So Baba Jesse told us the story of the village that became divided. When the enemy came, they stood alone and were weak. So they had their sticks. They were individuals. Just like a single stick between two hands, they were easily broken, the yeah. villages were, because they were independent. Then we asked our scholars to write all their um, attributes that make them who they are. I love peace. I love math. Whatever it is that they bring into the school, their gifts. We do not want that fate to be broken, so we wrote our talents on our own sticks, and we found a way to make them unbreakable. So this is a picture of them actually figuring out, like for 45 minutes, they had to figure out how the sticks could be unbreakable. Mm. We joined our sticks into one team and family so that we would not easily be broken. Unity is strength. This is a picture of them once they figured out how to do it. Mm. Um, they were extremely excited mm. and they still wanted to make little, little villages, but then they realized that it's about putting everything together. Mm -hmm. and so this is a result of that. Mm. So now we hold it up there to see if it everyone can see. Wow. So this right here, Futun Funafu, is the highest edinkra at our school. And to get inducted into the society, you have to live by our values. And we'll, when we get to Dinkra Avenue, I'll show you, but um, when we first got here in our amphitheater, there was a fern growing through the sewer. And we were looking at it, and one of our values um, is represented by the Dinkra Aya, which is a fern. Mm -hmm. And we said, look at this. It's a fern growing out of the sewer. Mm. And so that we all, all the teachers just automatically say, you know what, this is our be a sacred place because mm. Aya means strength. It means being uh, Aya plant is is hardy. It can grow in most any place. It's one of the oldest species of plants. So we want our children to have perseverance, diligence, and to grow through anything. Mm. So if this can grow out of soil, then our children, no matter what their background is, mm -hmm. they can grow out of anything mm. and be strong like Aya. So people who show Aya will be inducted into a full tune for an awful unity for one destiny. And we have actually have our induction ceremony today, our third induction ceremony. Mm. We have nine more people being inducted. Mm. What are the criteria for five induction? This is yeah, what's his name of the avenue? We painted that ourselves? Mm. Yeah, I traced it. It's another Dean Grove, Tracy, and her sister came in. Everyone helped because he's he's like my motivation. Um, so I wanted him to be prominent as soon as you walk in. We named this hallway after. Of course, we keep the college uh -huh. banners uh -huh. because at the forefront of everything, our students are going to go to and through college, uh -huh. and they're going to graduate high school in 2018. This is the class of 2018. Let's see how they go to college. And they uh -huh. all know that. You ask me, are you going to college? 2018. Uh -huh. It's programmed already, so. They don't have a choice. <laughs> they don't have a choice. So, we're moving up onto Adinkra Avenue. And all of our values are represented by an Adinkra. So, for exact example. What's Adinkra? An Adinkra is a West African symbol that represents that represents uh, positive characteristics of, of living. So for example, this is Binkebi in the language of the tree. So Binkebi, this is an abstract version of two alligators biting each other's tail, mm -hmm. like in a yin and yang type vibe. And so what that means is that I have, I can destroy you and you can destroy me, but we respect each other and coexist in, in harmony so that you know, we don't do it. So it's through respect of each other and respect of our own power and of your power mm. that we live a 
come together. So if we see a student um, ex giving, you know, exhibiting respectful behavior or behavior that has been KP, this is shrunk onto a little piece of paper, mm -hmm. and the teacher would give it to him, being KP, mm -hmm. and they have to have 12, and then you, when you they have to have 12 to be inducted, to be eligible to be inducted into the Futu mm -hmm. But that means you have to go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. if, if, somebody's a beef, if somebody's beefing and having a disagreement, and you say, no, this is not going to happen in our school, and you bring, you know, stuff like that, like, then you get, they say, Dinka, mm -hmm. so, so. Then we say, welcome to the village, because in the village, um, everyone's safe in the village, everyone's protected in the village, everyone is allowed to take risks in the village, mm. everyone is allowed to be a brother or sister to each other in the village. So we call the village because we're all one team, we're one family. I'm Baba Ji Chafe, that's what they call me, because they know that Baba means father. Mm -hmm. So now some of them will call me Baba Ji Chafe, mm -hmm. this is Baba. Mm -hmm. Baba Kojo is Baba, mm -hmm. or Baba Jesse, Baba Kojo. So we say that when you're in the village, we're your fathers, we're your mothers. So what you like, mm -hmm. protect you like that. And we're coming to the village. And like I was saying before, we're going to, going to college in 2000, 2018. And they're climbing the mountain to and through college. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our visionaries right here. This is Joshua. He is a full tool for our food. Society member. Um, tell me what Futun Funafu means. Futun Funafu means like Futun Funafu means unity for one destiny because like Baba Adisha face showed us it was like a picture of two alligators sharing the same stomach. Because if you want to fight for this food and then you want to fight for that food, they both would eat the same food. But I think they just want to taste it. Something probably. <laughs> I like that. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, like we try, we try to keep it in balance just for people to come to us to see what problems they can deal with so we can uh, try to sort it out and, or if it's too much we gotta leave it to another. Mm -hmm. So they're the leaders of our school. So we're training to be the leaders of our school. They have jobs. Um, you have a job here? What's your job? Oh, uh, you don't have a job? But some of the jobs are bathroom monitor, hallway monitor, bus monitor. A dinka manager. Um, when children earn those a dinka, mm -hmm. they write it down, record it in the in the mm -hmm. spreadsheet, and they keep track of everyone's earnings for mm -hmm. the dinka. So the whole job is just to employ people, mm -hmm. to employ uh, for two for our food society members. Because it's like society, if you're not employed, hey, you, mm -hmm. may, you may be going different different ways. It's yeah. not positive. So it's true. Same thing here at school. You have a credo. Do you know your credo? Yes. Okay. As a team and family, we share a common destiny. If I help myself, I help us all. If I apparel myself, I apparel us all. I am because we are, and it's on the back of the shirt. Listen, the back of your shirt. That was good. You said that very well. He knows it. He knows it. Mm-hmm. Very good, young man. So for uh, children or parents, they want the kids to come to the school. How do they do that? How do they make that happen? Man, if you're eligible to go to any land public school, you're eligible to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't self-select. They select us. Mm -hmm. And then if we have more kids <clears throat> who are, or more families registering by our cutoff date, then we have a lottery after that. And we put all the names in the hat and literally have a lottery. Put balls in there and pull them out. Number 42, and mm -hmm. that family gets in. So we make it fair. So no self-selecting, and you know we're, we're open enrollment for anybody. So, yeah. so, so how do they contact you? What's the best way? Um, they can call 404-537-5252, 404-537-5252, or you can visit us on the web, of course, um, www.kipvisionacademy.org. Org. And KIPP is spelled K-I-P-P. -P. Knowledge is Power Program. KIPP Vision Academy. Dot org.